Welcome. When you boot up Arch Linux, you can have a look already at the system. You can click this away and say, let's have a look at what Arch Linux provides. So all these applications are here because these are applications we like. All right. So the Arch Linux ISO, which we call the full ISO, is the operating system we like and, and all the applications we like to work with, like uh, Inkscape and, and GIMP and so on. Now, if you want to have your own, well, then it's Arch Linux D and Arch Linux B is maybe better suited for you. So you have to uh, go and have a look at the Arch Linux Hello page and then you go via that way to your website, Arch Linux D or B. Now, in this video, I wanted just to show that you can always log off, log out, and that's the way how we switch desktops. So up here, there's a button and here you say what kind of desktop you want to boot in today. But since this is a DVD, not an, 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 uh, an installation, you are not, well, Eric in my case, you are not your, yourself. I mean, you're the live user. That's the username, live user. You have to type it correctly. And it has not, it does not have a password. So no need to type anything in. Live user is empty. And that's the sequence you have to do it. First, type in the, the login. There is no password. And then go up here and have a look at Openbox, for instance. So there are three uh, possibilities, three desktops to learn, to work in, to have fun with. You can exit this one as well, log out again. Same procedure. First, type in the password. Enter. No password required, go up here, go to i3, login. So that's how we switch desktops in our systems. And this is the reference to the number of these days. So it's July 2019. Okay, so that's how we switch between desktops and you can do that as well on a live system or on a normal installation, right? Enter first live user and back to XFCE. And of course, if you're on uh, a system to install like this one, then Calamaris will pop up and say, okay, let's install this uh, operating system. All right, that's how we switch between desktops.